I really don't even know what home is. And then they're talking about, well, we'll be down in assessment. No, we're, we're tired of assessments. And nothing happens. A new documentary calls attention to the homeless problem in the Twin Cities. The Wall, Stories of the 2018 Minneapolis Homeless Camp premieres on May 19th. And filmmaker Brandon Ferdig created the documentary and joins us today. Thank you for joining us. Mm -hmm. So this topic, obviously timely. Why did you decide to dig into it? I'd been interviewing people around the country for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, I like to go to a region of the U.S. I went to the South in the summer of 2016. I went to the Pacific Northwest in the summer of 2017 and interview people in the area who really uh, are emblematic of that region. Mm -hmm. So uh, while I was in the Pacific Northwest, I saw a lot of homelessness, uh, Portland, Seattle, Vancouver, and I thought I'd like to do a, a, a documentary just on this topic. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the tent city, started here in Minneapolis and this is where I live. So I thought, well, I don't have to go to LA or the West Coast. I can just right. cover what was happening here and, and, and I did. And so many of us followed this issue and this problem because it was just so visible. Mm -hmm. And it was, and we know homelessness exists in our community. There's no question about that. Mm -hmm. This was a very stark reminder of that. What did you find when you went into that tent city and talked to the folks who were living there? Um, what I found and what I want people to get from the documentary, what I hope they get from the documentary, is that once you get past our knee-jerk reaction to homelessness, and I, and I see in the country there's basically two, as there are two main reactions to so many issues in the country, whether it be immigration or whether it be abortion or gun rights, there's the left and the right, and they're just at odds with each other. And it's the same way with homelessness. And so I think one side, has this, has this gut reaction of pity. And the people who are homeless have been beaten down by a system and it's, it's, it's been all the system's fault. And then the other side uh, is a bit cynical and they'll say, well, these people aren't getting jobs, they're just doing drugs, they're not doing enough to pull themselves up and you know, whatever, they put themselves there. And so what I found was, not surprisingly, uh, is what I found with other issues I've investigated and that's that you find a complicated blend mm -hmm. of people who do make decisions, whether it's to relapse, whether it's to um, stay in a relationship that's bad for them, whether it's to quit their job, mm -hmm. that does put them in a bad position. But then you get to know how they grew up right. in an abusive home, right. perhaps. Um, right. And you just see how they had a tough right from the start. And, right. and, and you do build a lot of empathy and sympathy for them. And you do want to reach out and help them too. And surely addiction and uh, obviously mental health issues and abuse, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. they all play a part. Mm -hmm. And it is important. I think it is interesting that you're giving this perspective. You obviously had wonderful access to this community. Mm -hmm. You built that trust that's incredibly profound and important. Well, yeah. yeah final thought on that? Well, I mean, <laughs> if, 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 if you don't get them to, to trust you and, 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 and like you and know that you're not going in there to exploit the situation, sure. which was the general fear from the start. And I got right. a lot of people, you know, mm, who are you, you know, yeah. but I said, I want to share your stories. You know, they yeah. called it, they, they called the community the wall and some called it the wall of forgotten natives. Mm. And it, it, it is my goal to help their stories be known, to be remembered and not forgotten. Right. And once they understood that and trusted me a little more, then, then they were willing to open up and share their life, which, which they do acknowledge is um, often untold. Mm -hmm. uh, there's not enough people that, 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 that they think care about them. Sure. And so once they sense that I did and, 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 and others in the community do and want to know their stories, mm -hmm. then they're willing to open up and yeah. you know, I, oh. I, I could capture them. Well, a lot of people would be interested in finding out more about this. And The Wall does premiere on May 19th. More details can be found at care11.com. Thank you so much, Brandon, for coming in today. My pleasure. Up next, you are probably wondering about that snow. Laura tells us where it could fall, plus the peanut allergy treatment that might do more harm than good, and what Minnesotans are doing to ease a global crisis.